working out with these ball hog gloves is changing everything, the whole dynamic of the workout. It takes away your grip. So the ball slips out of your hands. You really gotta be able to control the ball. For quality basketball training products, go ahead and log on to ballhoggloves.com. God first, work until. They had that game postponed. Denver hasn't played since last Wednesday, so it's seven-day layoff. The Thunder had two games in that period, including Monday's win against Memphis. Quick strike over to Lou Dort. His three, he's gonna rattle in. Decides against going one on two, instead kicks it out. Gordon's three is gonna rim out as Robinson Earl getting the start at the four tonight again for the second straight night as SGA uses his speed and his long strides to get by Green. And he's got real long arms, good perimeter defense, and Shea dispossessed momentarily, got it back in the reverse underneath. Still time to operate here. Shea gives it right back to Robinson Earl. His floater is going to drop in. Good high-low action after Robinson Earl set that screen. And it's starting to stack up against some of the top big man's they ever to play this game. SGA put his head down, floats it up off the glass, a little kiss. Green is listed at 680. He, he's kind of that prototypical body of the modern day NBA, which is why he's still in the league. It's Shea, another bucket off the deck. I mean, it's like, you have to take the bait. <laughs> and then he just passes it whenever he feels like it. Shea continues to keep it. We were waiting on the wings. That time it was Gordon at six foot nine. Well, SJ right now is just having his way. His career with the Orlando Magic was traded, and Shea once again off the dribble. Just Denver, no answer defensively. This time Shea, a little spinning move on the perimeter, follows his miss, goes right by Jokic and powers that one down. So they get out of the fast break while Barton complains about the call. And Shea once again uses a Favors screen. Gives it right back to him. And Favors gives us a nice, smooth, easy mid-range jumper. Well, Shea and Favors won the same play on the different side of the floor. Same result. Favors had to take a, a dribble to get that shot off. Not a problem. Get this, the Thunder have 40 points right now in the team. Shea getting downhill, got grabbed by Barnes, played through it, spun it home off the glass. Thinking that they've got just a, a hint and a crack there. But he welcomed the play to develop as Shea yet again as Giddy bouncing off bodies. Now Shea with Jeff Green defending, swings that pass to Favors, but they had the connection tonight. That's the third time that Shea has fed a deuce to Favors. And the ball died. He caught every, he caught the perfect angle. Any harder that, that ball misses, any shorter, it hits the front of the rim. Well, might, might as well keep going to the exact same play until Denver shows you that you can, they can slow it down. Here's the free throw short. Actually, six misses by Denver. Giddy. Well, Giddy knocks it in. Way at it with the cotton candy, but leave the popcorn for me. He's asking his, his pops for a little water to wash it all down. Nice turnover and a steal by Shea coming out of the timeout. Well, the Thunder really controlled the first quarter and once again controlling the third quarter. Now plus 10, expanding this lead. Now the biggest of the night at 18. For the next couple of weeks, Thunder in a condensed stretch here playing Four games in six days, but still business to be done here as Lou Dort's going to stop that 11-0 Denver run with a timely three. Denver can't stop play here. The Thunder, five on four. This will be a foul on Rivers. Rivers lets it go again. Long rebound to Dort. And SGA finally collects. Composo tried to draw the charge. Instead, Shea averts him and finds JRE for the slam.